Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and let's have some more applications on exponential functions being solved using logarithms. The question here is, a microbial culture grows at a rate given by a equals to 600 e to the power of rt, where a is the number of cells, t represents time in days, t is greater than or equal to 0, and r is the rate of growth. You need to find rate of growth. So let us assume that uh, after, let's say, three days, there are, let's have a number, 30,000 um, cells. Okay. So, so let's change the question a bit. Say, after three days, there are 30,000 cells. Find R the growth rate right so that is our question now so that was missing from the question part b is determine number of cells after four days right so that is the question now the formula given to us is a equals to 600 e to the power of r t now whenever there is something which happens continuously then that is the growth rate formula right so you can make a note of this formula now, in this formula, we can substitute the value of T as 3. So, after 3 days, there are 30,000 cells, and then find R, correct? So, we'll write uh, 3 for T and 30,000 for A. So, so we get 30,000 equals to 600 e to the power of R is 3 for us. 3 and T is number of days, which we need to find. Oh, uh, T is 3. R is the rate which we need to find, right? So to answer this, we can divide by 600 first. So 30,000 divided by 600 is equals to e to the power of 3R. And that gives you, okay, so 6 times 50. So 50 equals to e to the power of 3R. Now to solve this, we can take natural log on both sides. So we have ln 50 equals to ln of e to the power of 3r. This can be written as 3r, right? So, uh, well, uh, that is the property of logs. Let me do one more step here. So we could write 3r ln e and ln and e are inverse of one another so it is one right so that's why we get this as 3r so we get ln 50 equals to 3r so the rate of growth r will be equals to ln 50 divided by 3 correct so that is how we can actually find the value of r so let's calculate so natural log ln 50 uh, divided by 3 is equals to 1.310 so so we get this value as 1.3106 oh i wrote ln 51 let me rewrite this so we have ln 50 okay divided by 3 equals 2 so it is 1. Point, uh, let us say 1.304 so let us use 1.3 as our value okay so r is 1.3 for us so we can find that the growth rate r is equals to so we say r approximately equals to 1.3 so we'll use this value now the question is determine number of cells expected after four days so we'll use this value of 1.3 in the formula and find the number of cells so that should be a so a is equals to 600 e to the power of 1.3 times 4 right so number of days However, I like you to write down the exact value, which was, which was. Let me write here. R equals to one point three zero four, right? Uh, and see how much variation do we get, right? You can do that also. It's from one point three, right? So we are using calculator, no problems. We can write anything, right? So let's use calculator now and find the answer. So it is six hundred within bracket e, which is which is here e and bracket close and exponent is we are using four times 
1.3 so it's 4 times 1.3 let me use 4.1.3 and you calculate with the 0.304 right so we get the answer is 108763 right so we can drop the decimal value so so what you notice here is that in three days there were 30,000 cells now in four days we are having more than 100,000 cells so 108,000 cells so that is extremely high growth rate right so we can say right on our answer that number of cells is approximately equals to 108,763 okay or you could say 109,000 right so we could actually we could route this to 109,000 cells okay so at times depending on the question you could round it also right so anyway in your calculations we find that this value is extremely high so using three decimal places will be a good idea right so in the test try to use three decimal places find your answer I hope the method is clear to you thank you and all the best